Dr. Gaingop was referring to the recent demonstrations by the youth over the alleged failure by government and the police to tend to the increasing sexual and gender-based violence cases. The authorities, he says, will support any genuine cause and get involved in addressing the scourge of SGBV. There is a ears to listen to you. I don't want to fight. That's what I told the young people. Uh, they went to in the streets and so on. It's good. It, it looks good. As you can see, you say, yeah, fight, fight. Fight for what? Who is opposing you? Who is, who is oppressing you? No, not the government. We are together. So how do you fight against the government who is with you? Who is supporting, who set up the environment that can allow you to do what you want to do? Just do it peacefully. The AU Youth Envoy says the impatience shown by the young people at times is understandable as they want results. They've organized, they've pushed um, to make their voice heard and to make the case um, and to push for change. I think we are proud of them uh, as uh, their fellow Africans. We're looking at statistical data, we're looking at low hanging fruits and respect to the gender-based violence action plan, looking at the GBV units and seeing how best then they can uh, either function more efficiently or how they can be more receptive and, and not be desensitized to the cases being reported. So that has been put in action, led by the Office of the Prime Minister, Ministry of Justice, Gender, Ministry of Health, uh, Ministry of Safety and Security, most especially. So, so really the, that is the next actions for the next two to three weeks. Blanche Corre says NBC News, Ventuk.